Hello traders, this is Rich Derek from TradeSite. This is the uh, look at the uh, leading stocks via our scans for this coming session. That's going to be for Monday, April 8th, 2013. We had a pretty pretty negative session today, but we didn't really expand, expand the range to the downside much past the open. So what that leaves us with is a, is a lot of buy signals of the camouflage or the camo variety. It means that we're down at least two days. We've... Uh, Got equities where they are lower on the day but above the open. That's the key. So we're lower on the day but above the opening prices and being down for two days. So we've got definitely a dominance of uh, camouflage buy signals here. Uh, a couple things sticking out. Uh, Juniper, very, very strong on good volume. It's almost 3% above the open, trading 150% of the typical volume. Uh, Wind Resorts, very much in, in motion today off of the news. Uh, that's trading good volume as well. Netflix. CPS downside signal and uh, showing a VWAP deviation, you know, one and a half percent below the uh, below the day's VWAP. So real real negative day there. Uh, Sign has also got a volume bump and should be uh, watched for tomorrow as well. Uh, keep an eye on Apple too. Apple's down in that in that four that four nineteen area, which was uh, swinging well off of the the news after after the uh, after the report. So. You know, we're, we're kind of using that as, as a key area right now, so we've got a differential buy signal today, so we could pivot higher on Monday if they so choose. Financials are also all biased to the buy side here. Uh, we've got some CPS signals, which tend to be a little bit stronger than the camos. So uh, definitely keep an eye on, on the uh, the names with the CPS signals. Uh, Citigroup's real strong today, 2.5% above the open and more than 1% above the, uh, the VWAP. Uh, ice is trading really good volume, uh, more than twice as typical volume, and uh, NYX is also trading quite a bit of volume. So the exchanges uh, are all still still pretty much in play right now. Moving on to the energy patch, a um, little little less decisive here. We've got a couple of sells and a couple of buys here. Uh, BTU is having a big day, two and a half percent above the open. So uh, I would keep that on the list, and also Arch ACI. Uh, since that one's so uh, so strongly above the open, here's a look at the generals. The generals look more like our first page, the Nasdaq leader. So the broad market generals here showing mostly buy signals. A uh, couple of the CPS variety, which tend to be nice and strong, but uh, pretty dominant across the board here to the buy to the buy side. And here's the uh, here's housing, just like the broad market, mostly to the buy side here. Got a nice volume bump in Toll Brothers, Transports straight across the board pretty much to buy and finally here the commodities a little bit more mixed here good volume in double a and avx the camouflage sell signals might be worth noting too these uh <laughs> these, uh, these these gold miners have just been just been the whipping boy recently so they've, they again today they're a little bit of a source of funds even though gold's uh very very strong today right now gold's up about uh, 25 handles but they're these uh while these gold stocks are below the open, they couldn't sustain those uh, sustain those prices. All right, keep in mind that it's still half an hour here before the close. So uh, if we do fade into the close here and go back down below the opening level, these uh, these camouflage buy signals will uh, will be gone. Uh, but anyway, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich Derek for TradeSite. Hope to see you next week.